Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Memorial Day. Remember all the fallen. And that's all I'll say about it. So, yeah, kind of a shitter. We got home and I went to nuke something last night in the microwave and looked and noticed that the clock wasn't on. I thought, okay, what the hell? All right, long story short, the damn microwave was broken. I don't know what the hell happened when we left, but it doesn't come on. It doesn't work. It doesn't, you know, and regardless of where I plug it in, it doesn't come on. So it means we need to get a new, uh, like the, what do they call them, a range microwave over the range, whatever, a microwave that sits above the damn stove. So that means I'm heading out today to uh, get a, like a temporary smaller microwave and kind of deal with that. Also, I have a bunch of packages waiting in the UPS store and they're freaking closed today, which I knew I was just hoping that I would come up and it would be open, but it's not. So I'm just going to go get what mail I can and what, whatever they could shove into the slot and do that. And then I need to head to Discount Tire, which I hope is open today, and I need to get these tires replaced. That trip to the other side of the state was just awful. The jiggling, the, the, the highway jiggle, I mean, my phone was literally, I'm not exaggerating, going like this. It, it is ridiculous. And the road noise was so loud that basically when the three of us were in here, we couldn't hear what anyone was saying. So the tires go. I'm getting new tires. I already got that all figured out. As long as they're open today and I can get the price and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to go take care of all that shit. Uh, oh, and I also did find the uh, that, that panoramic clamp or panoramic mount. And I mounted one of these Arca clamps to it. Well, it was already mounted to it from my contraption before. And then I just unscrewed this and put that up into the magical arm. And, you know, just uh, put it down there pretty good. Uh, moved the cable around so it makes more sense. And now I can just loosen that and spin the Insta360 RS instead of having to disconnect it, pull it out, spin it, put it back in, reconnect it and all that shit which freaked my mother-in-law out because I was doing it when we were driving through the mountains. I can drive with my knees. So, all right, let's go see if we can get some packages. Okay, that was a bust. Two pieces of junk mail from work and two notifications that I have a package. By the time I come back tomorrow when they're open, that's gonna go up significantly. Well, at least I hope so. All right, I can't keep filming in here because it's hot as balls and I have the windows up and the AC off and I'm like starting to drip. So uh, let's go get some tires, hopefully. Okay, kids, the monkey's batting zero today. No packages to pick up, boo, which I already knew, but I still had hope and no discount tire. They're closed today as well. Now the problem was the guy told me when I went there last week to check on the tires before I left on this trip and decided that I was fine without getting new tires. He said that in order to get the deal, I had to buy them before the end of the month. So I just sat in the parking lot because I brought my laptop just in case I had to do it online. And I went through their website and I kept trying to do stuff. I did the military ID thing. I have an ID me account so I can ID myself as, as uh, you, you know a vet. And that got me 5%. I also did get in time for the deal, which got me another 110 bucks off, but they were like pushing their discount tire card, which I had at one time, but for some reason it got closed, probably because I didn't use it for several years. I re-signed up for it, and for some reason they approved me, but like the last time, they only approved me for an amount that was less than the total amount of the bill. And I was like, well, shit, I don't know if this is gonna let me split it. So I put it through and of course it failed because it was more than the amount that, that I was allowed to do. So when I was here, when I did it at the store last time, they just put everything on the card so I could get the discount. And then I just paid the difference, you know, with cash. Couldn't do that this time because I was sitting in a parking lot and they were closed. So I ended up putting it on my own card, which fine, whatever, I, I was gonna end up getting like another 40 something bucks off. I mean, it all adds up. That was 200 bucks. I mean, uh, over $200. So I have to go, I, I scheduled an appointment for tomorrow morning to get the tires put on. I will, in all likelihood, then talk to them about that and see if they can't do something for me, which I'm sure they will, because they're a pretty awesome company. And if they don't, all right, I spent 40 bucks. Again, I pissed that away in a couple of days just going to three ships, so whatever. I did look before I'm driving out here to see if the Navy Exchange is open, and it does show that it is. I'm gonna go there and hopefully 
that's the only place I have to go, and I could just buy a small shitty little microwave so that we can continue to nuke our food as necessary until we can get somebody to come in and put the other thing in, in addition to all the other shit that needs to be done. Ah! So, yeah, the other thing is that I am calling uh, my buddy who has got a guy for everything, gave me a number for a guy to come in and we're probably just going to have our living room done because we want all the carpet ripped out because we're tired of the cat puking all over it and it just being, and I, I've been through this before. I told you this before. Our carpeting was rental carpeting and we just never got it fixed or replaced or whatever. So right now the queen wants the nasty carpet removed from our living room and because we own both floors you know whether it's upstairs or downstairs we are allowed to put in hardwood floors or whatever kind of non-carpet floors we want because we're only annoying ourselves <laughs> so i'm going to call that person and i also got a number from my buddy for the person to come and do the patio which we also need to do so lots of calls to make shit ton of money to spend but welcome to the joys of adulting and home ownership so let's hopefully go get a microwave okay that's the second time now that i've had to pull this thing apart to reset it and get it to go on two times now still not as bad as the original but it's still annoying especially since it was on and i literally was going over to press the record button but i guess i'd gone past my five minutes and it shut off and then I couldn't get it to come back on, so I had to take it all apart. I got one win today. I was able to find a microwave. So I got it for $89.99. It was literally the only box there. All the ones that I would have chosen weren't there, but I guess this one should be just more than adequate. Now, unfortunately, we have to take up counter space or something, you know, because obviously that one was above the stove and can't do anything about that microwave accomplished now it's noon so i've failed at every other thing that i tried to do today thinking that you know they would be open on memorial day because shit's open on every other holiday why not today so now i'm probably going to go well not probably i'm on my way to three ships right now it's 81 and you know partly cloudy i mean sun's coming in and out it's pretty schwitzy though, pretty hot. So I'm gonna go get early three ships and then I'm probably gonna to go to Pleasure House Point because I haven't been in a while and what the hell, I might as well. Now I didn't do anything yesterday that I normally would have. So no, I, I guess I'll stop saying office day because I don't do shit in the office, but uh, for the lack of a better way of putting it, I didn't have my office day yesterday. I didn't do any laundry. None of the things that I do on a Sunday. I didn't even weigh myself yesterday. That was this morning. Oh, and if I hadn't mentioned it, although I did post it, I did weigh myself this morning and I hit my realistic goal that I had set three years ago of 175 pounds. I was at 175.2, which means in this month and one week since I've been doing this, I've lost 13 pounds and I feel fantastic. Now, my unrealistic goal was 165. I got as low as 169, giggity, and at that time I just stopped. Now, I don't, I definitely don't need to go down to 165 pounds. Uh, what I need to do now is get rid of this little bit of flab that's around my gut and continue to exercise and get in better condition. I couldn't be more thrilled that it only took me slightly over a month to, to lose that much weight. I, I, I mean, come on. Like I said, I traded two pounds back and forth for the past at least year. And, and it was just, you know, just from being a dumbass. So now that I realize if I actually commit myself and do things properly, like I know how to do and like I knew I should have done, look at the results that you can get. So I'm taking that as the first and the biggest win of today was my weigh-in and hitting my realistic goal of 175 pounds. It's only gonna get better from here because now that I've lost that weight and I feel so much better, I am so motivated to continue exercising and, and really getting toned and in and, and better condition. I joked with my wife that, that I might even do the Tom Cruise thing and start running. <laughs> we'll see about that. For now, uh, there seems to be a lot of people out down here in the old Vibe District. So I'm gonna pay attention so I don't run them over and we're gonna go get some bean.
Unless they pull up there and they're closed too, which would really suck. All right, beat time. Oh, okay. Obviously you can see me, I look like a beat and I am beat. It's hot out there. Since oh, most of the time I'm in the direct sunlight, it's brutal. So I have just guzzled my bottle of water and I've sat here in the forerunner, like I always do after I walk out here, just sitting with the AC blasting on my face and everything, just until I cool down enough so that I can actually then make my way home. That was a lot of fun, as it always is. I did see a couple of great birdies. Again, I hardly ever see the green heron and I got two of them. So that was great. And then, the, uh, speaking of great, great egrets, and a couple of the night herons. All in all, though, pretty cool. So today has been a whirlwind because I got up, we made breakfast, but before that, I weighed myself and saw that I lost at 13 pounds now. And I also said that I was going to be lax on the weekends. I mean, yes, it's a Monday, but, you know, the weekend was shot. So I did have a grease sponge, hash brown thing, that's what I call them, uh, with breakfast and I didn't die. So I'm fine with that, that's pretty cool. And then I went out and got shut down like everywhere I went because everything was closed. So I didn't get to do a lot of the stuff that I would have wanted to do today. And I'm gonna have to deal with that discount tire shit tomorrow morning cause that got all hosed up, but whatever, I'll figure it out. I did get the microwave, the microwave is in, running. We're good to go there. And now I'm going to go home, it's 2.44. So it's early, but you know how that goes. I'm going to get home and I'm going to eat and I'm going to lay there and, you know, like try to motivate myself to do something. But what I got to do is laundry. I got a shit ton of laundry to do. And I do have work to do, day job work. And I am going to do day job work because I need to get it done prior to tomorrow morning uh, when everybody comes back. And then I can start tomorrow doing the normal shit that I'm going to do. But that's pretty much all I'm going to film today. I had a great time. That's all you get. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.